everyone, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Conley's Corner. This I is won. not 2020. I don't know. I felt like I should be anchory. Anchory? Yeah. Did I, did I look like a news anchor there? Whatever. I'm Crackwise Magazine editor in chief Kathy Vogel. We have sitting here in the middle, Fun Bastard Ollie, Cousin Mookie, in the front, Oscar and Lil Mo. What up, yo? And saving the best for last, comedian. Mike Conley. Hello. <laughs> Looking dapper with the hat on. Thank you. I'm I really feeling like that. dapper with the hat You look like quite on. the gentleman. Well, I like to think I am. Aww. It's a lie, but I like <laughs> to think I am. Speaking of dapper gentlemen, ladies, are you looking to find a quality husband? You're tired of the hookups? You're tired of the relationships that ain't going nowhere? Well, we are here to help you find the man of your dreams. Aww. Don't be hating the hookup. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> But sometimes you want to move past that. Yeah, I'll let you know when I'm there. Oh my God. Okay, so you can't, if you're looking for a quality husband, just go date a bunch of people and hope that it randomly happens that the Prince Charming will find you. It's not going to happen, girlfriend, okay? You all right there? Just I know. Puked a little bit. Exactly. You want to find a partner with emotional maturity, honesty, and integrity. So here are a couple things you can do to do that. <laughs> Think outside the bars. Yes, I'm staring right at you, Mike Conley. Well, I mean, I know why you are, and I'm trying not to acknowledge <laughs> that. <laughs> this is rarely the place that you're going to find someone that wants a commitment. Consider joining groups. That way, if you have similar activities, you already have something in common. See, that's very good. Uh, also, you know, it just means that they're not living their life in the bar, which is also good, too. What if the group is wine tasting? <sighs> It's still alcohol, whatever, nice try. Nice try, Conley. Online dating. If you want a husband, why not? But you have to be very specific with your online dating search. Don't go for the free sites. Go to ones that either have a membership or you have to fill out a questionnaire because that takes effort. So Tinder, I'm not thinking so. I'm just saying, we're looking for commitment here, Conley. Okay, commitment. All right, fine. I'm here to help. We're not just looking for a casual hookup. And just wait until the judge says it's my turn. Be open to trying something new. So, (laughs) lead your search with non negotiable criteria, but be open to the possibility that the one may not be the perfect fantasy you've been looking for. But core things have to be there. Then you might find the perfect mate. We're just here to help. Or are we here to help? We're here to help. Okay. Let's see what Conley has to say. Because sometimes the easiest way to know he's not a quality husband candidate Mm -hmm. is if he's already married. Oh, Oh, yeah. (laughs) I mean, I hate hate to throw the dart at the bullseye from a foot away, but there it is. Right. That's the number one thing. I mean, unless you're living in Utah. Yeah, well, yeah, you could be like a Mormon. Then you'd be good with that. (laughs) Life is good. A kind of Um, Mormon. (laughs) Living the fake Mormon life. When, and... You're dating, yes. You know, and you think this guy, you know, could be the one, and and then he pees in the shower. Ew! While ew, you're in it. Ew. Oh yeah! Whoa, whoa, wait! Yeah, that. Uh, it's bad enough if you're a secret tinkler. Yes. But if you're just like, it's all going down the same place. Move the curtain while she's in there, loofwafwin, and just. just <laughs> or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. I'm making words up as I go. <laughs> But she's in there, you're in there scrubbing your, and he's all of a sudden just whipping the curtain back and, yeah. What? Why? Chasing bubbles down the drain. <laughs> I don't know. And finally, and this is important too, if his idea, if you you say to him, again, you're in a relationship yes. and you, you're hoping that it blossoms and you tell him, I'm going to go put on something more sexy. And he says, great, I bought you a new apron. <laughs> oh yeah! I'd say no, ladies. I'm just reaching oh, out there, you know. Oh. Uh, my 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 batting average is not great in dating, but even I know that's that's time to move out. Make me a sandwich, bitch. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> that is horrible. Yeah. 
but very informative. Trying to help. You are always trying to help. Well, Thank you for all the research you do. Well, I, you know, paper. Okay, um, drink recipe at the bottom of the page and where Mr. Conley will not be wearing an apron next? Possibly. <laughs> 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 oh no oh, boy. what will the apron say eats it is I it? asked <laughs> try my eats I don't know I don't have an apron you could do body paint like Demi Moore did and paint an apron on you I could and then you'd have a corkscrew I would Are we done yet? Why is oh, no, I was going to say thanks, everybody. Why is the producer <laughs> cutting us off? Thanks, everybody. <laughs> We're done now. Oh, yeah.